I am also pleased tonight to see the release of the first report of the task force on extremism in the fragile states. 17 years ago today, as we all recognize, we had the gravest attack on our country, perhaps in its history, but certainly one of the gravest attacks. We've made a lot of progress since then. We've strengthened our homeland protections. We've gone after the terrorists effectively. We've killed and eliminated a lot of bad actors. But there's a lot more to be done, as all of us recognize. We have to continue to use force to attack and eliminate terrorists. We have to continue and do even a better job of protecting our homeland, where I think the record has been very good indeed since that awful day. But new threats to our security continue to emerge, and new generations continue to feel the impact of extremism and violence. For that reason, we are, Tom and I, very pleased to have the privilege of continuing to serve by leading the task force on extremism in fragile states. Here in conjunction with the support of the United States Institute of Peace and in response uh, from a mandate by the Congress. I would certainly want to thank the USIP's president, Nancy Lindbergh, the USIP Chair Steve Hadley and the members of the task force that are here tonight. They are a talented group of people. They are real experts in national security. They are a delight to work with in all aspects. And because of their contributions, our work will be immensely improved and helpful in the years ahead. 